G'day. If you're like me and like to fiddle with things or have to fiddle with things that involve screwdrivers, I'm going to show you how to create your own magnetic screwdrivers totally free at home. Now most screwdrivers that you buy these days, if they're decent quality, probably are already magnetic at the tip, but this is how to make your own using any old screwdriver that you've had for years and it's totally free. So tiny little screws like this are really, really annoying. <laughs> I'm just using random objects to show you. But you see, without being magnetized, those fiddly little things, <laughs> yeah, you see the problem, like, ah. Okay, so let's magnetize this screwdriver first and I'll show you the difference. So get any old magnet, and we're surrounded by magnets. In this case, I'm just going to use the back of a of an LED torch or flashlight because it has a magnetized bit there as you can see so all you do and you won't believe how simple this is you get your screwdriver any type of screwdriver you can also use the back of a speaker magnet if you have one put it on there drag it in one direction doesn't matter which direction like you could go that way do that no particular speed do that probably uh, 12 times maybe and you watch the difference I'm just slightly rolling it but you don't have to the point is you're just going in one direction just like the band now let's see the difference so bring this little fella back in here you see I'm not cutting the oh, where am I I'm not cutting the shot and I'm hoping that's in focus enough now watch this you see how the screw is now hopefully you can see how the screw is now staying there this is the same screw I haven't cut the shot as you see I'll show you again look see, this, that's my fiddling here it's sitting there so now in this scenario it's quite simple to just pop it in the hole and screw away I'll show you on another one without cutting uh, what do we have that was a Phillips head screwdriver by the way, which is what we call them, you may call them something else, but you see the tip is like a like a star. You probably can't. But I'll show you the same on a what we call a flat bladed screwdriver, which is very common. You'll find also you don't ever have to redo this to the screwdrivers because they will stay magnetized. So it's one off. It doesn't matter what so size. <laughs> It doesn't matter what size screwdriver or what type of screwdriver, it all works the same. You can also do this with other objects if you have the need. Pliers, maybe even a piece of wire that you want to magnetise the tip to pick up things. You do it exactly the same way, just rub the object one direction on the magnet. Simple. So for an example again, I've grabbed this, this switch here. It's only demonstrating, okay? So you can see, hopefully, it's not magnetized. So, without cutting. Ooh, where'd we put it, big guys? Oh, there's my magnet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, okay, here's the magnet. Again, like I say, it can be any type. Just scratch the screwdriver. Drag it across in one direction. You don't have to do anything fussy doesn't have to be a big magnet you can use your fridge magnet I picked this one because it was stuck on the fridge and handy so just go in one direction you can flip it if you like but it doesn't really make any difference and the point is drag it across the magnet you see what I mean drag it across do that about a dozen times and I know this is slightly out of focus let me go back a bit If you haven't seen my latest outtake videos, we'll check that out and you'll know why it's frustrating. <laughs> and let me just focus a bit. I don't want to cut the shot because I don't want you to think there's some trickery. Okay, that should do. So drag it about a dozen times. Now watch. Ta-da! It's not magic. It's magnetism. And this video isn't about magnetism. There's heaps of that online if you want to research 
But all I can tell you is this, we are surrounded by magnetism. I'll put the screw back in to show you this little flat blade here. We're surrounded by magnetism. In fact, you cannot watch this video without magnetism because it uses your electricity. And it's just me being awkward. You see, it's magnetized. The electricity that's coming to you for your TV or monitor and internet that you're using is um, because of magnetism in the electric motor. I'm like sitting sideways to this, so you don't need. The point is, you can see that's magnetic, whereas it wasn't before. I hope that gets my point across. Um, what else could I do to show you? I'll show you. Do I have any screwdrivers that aren't magnetized? What else is magnetized? Sure. Is that magnetic? Well, this one's a bit big for the screw. Oh no, it works. So I'll show you one more time. Sorry about blocking the shot there. So you see this one isn't magnetized at all. Okay. You can see the screwdriver isn't currently magnetized. See, it's not picking up that screw at all. So we get again without breaking the shot just to prove it's not triggery. <laughs> um, yep, drag focus a little bit. Just drag the screwdriver across the magnet. I'll say one last time you don't have to use any specific get that out of the way the mic. You don't have to use any specific magnet, just a magnet. You could in theory try one of those little stick-on magnets on your fridge, but I don't think it would have enough magnetism. But try it and let me know. So drag that a couple of times across. Like I say, you can go that way if you want. This is just easier. And look at that. I hope that was able to be seen. So you can see that's now stuck on there. It sure beats adding a blob of blue tack or grease to the end of your screw. <laughs> so you see? Magnetize. There you go. As Professor Julius Sumner Miller would have said, watch, watch. <laughs> okay, well, there's three demonstrations for you. And you'll find this will make your life a little bit easier when you go to, uh, if you're not all fingers and thumbs. You'll find this will make life a little bit easier. This is way too big a screw for that. When it comes to fiddling around, whether it's working on cars, electronics or whatever. And there you have it. So yes, please share this video if you found it interesting. Well, I hope that might have educated you and helped you out. If it has, please leave a like. Subscribe, it helps the channel, it costs you nothing. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.